when the British Royal Air Force was just beginning, two twin flyboys sought to soar above and defend the skies. But their first flight was quite a disaster, and they continued to crash. And crash, and crash, and of course, crash. Could it be possible that God would now use their special talents in the remotest place on Earth? Journey with us now to their island getaway to see what has become of the long-lost Banzai brothers and see the wonders that God can do. Hello there, children! It's me, Popsy. I was looking for that 800-pound gorilla. You haven't seen him, have you? No, he should have been here by now. Is it? What's that? Was it behind me? Behind me? I don't see him behind me. What? On the other? Oh, there you are. Where have you been? Oh, you are hiding. Why were you hiding from me? Oh, don't tell me a great big 800-pound gorilla like you is scared of a wee little fella like me. Oh, it's because I twisted his arm when I beat him at arm wrestling three times in a row. Well, don't be such a big baby. I'll tell you what. I'll give you one more chance. Yeah, this time the loser has to give the winner a piggyback ride. Fair enough? Blah, blah. All right, let me come down there where you are. <laughs> are you ready? One, blah, blah, blah. two, three. <laughs> I beat you, the champion. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. What? Hey, where are you going? Get back here, 800 pound gorilla. Blah, 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 you blah. crazy monkey. Don't be running away. You owe me a piggyback ride. Whew. You believe that crazy monkey? What's a fella got to do to get a piggyback ride around here? Well, not to worry. I'll catch up with him. And when I do, I'll wrestle him to the ground and tickle his belly until he cries, uncle. Why, by the time I'm through with him, I'll have him giving me piggyback rides. I mean, silverback rides. All around this island. Ah, <laughs> oh. You know, can you just picture me there, riding on the back of a monkey? Ooh, that reminds me of a story in the Bible. Oh, let me get the Bible out and I'll do a little devotional. I believe in miracles. Oh, there we are. <laughs> oh, hello, kids. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello, Popsy. Hello. Uh, I say, I saw a up hand gorilla flying through the jungle like Lightning McQueen. Yeah. Where, where do you suppose he was going? Oh, he's running far away from me. Far away? Well, well, why would he do that? I was trying to ride on his back. Uh, well, why would you want to ride on an 800 pound gorilla? Well, as you know, Algy, it's we're celebrating Palm Sunday today. That's true. Yeah, right? so I thought it would be, you know, that's when Jesus rode into Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be a great idea if we acted out that story for the kids. Oh, but there is no 800 pound gorilla in the Bible. Oh, yes, there is. Yeah, 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 here, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> here it is. It was the day that Jesus came back to Jerusalem, and it says right here, he was riding on a monkey. Um, Popsy, mm. Jesus did not ride on a monkey. Uh, kids, what did Jesus ride in on? Yes, yes, you're correct. Jesus rode in on a donkey. Are you sure? Oh, I'm quite sure. It, it was actually a coat. You mean a young baby donkey? That's correct. Oh, you see, Jesus told his followers to go into the town ahead of him, uh. and there they would find a coat that had never been ridden before, and to untie it and bring it to him. Wow! So Jesus knew that donkey would be there. He did. And when they got there, was it there? It was. <laughs> That's a miracle! A miracle! A miracle! <laughs> Wait a tick. Didn't that donkey belong to someone? Oh, yes, he did. What? And they stole it? That's Grand Theft Donkey. No, no, Popsy, he didn't. They didn't steal anything. Oh. You see, Jesus told the followers, if anyone asks, why are you untying this donkey, to say, the Lord needs it. And what did the donkey's owner say? Oh, he said, why are you untying this donkey? Ah, and then what did the followers of Jesus say? Oh, well, the Bible says that they replied, the Lord needs it. Ah, and then what did the owners do? They gave it to them. Ah, I knew they'd never get away. No. What? 
Did you say they gave it to him? Oh, well, yes. The owners wanted to give the Lord whatever he asked of them. Get what you're saying. Yes, you Here's are. the lesson that the Lord wants us to learn today, yes. kids. Jesus wants you all to go out and buy a donkey no. and give it to him no. so he can have like a billion donkeys. No, Popsy no. Popsy, that isn't that's not it at all. It's not. No, no, no. Jesus wants us to serve him with whatever we have. Oh, I see. It's all about serving. Yes, there you are. Yeah. So what Jesus wants you kids to do is get a job on a donkey farm, serving no. donkey food to no. donkeys. Yeah. No, Popsy, Popsy. Uh, it's not about the donkeys at all. Oh, no? No, no. Jesus wants us to serve him with whatever we have. You see, oh. when we make him the Lord of our life, we can trust him with whatever he asks of us, uh, just like the owners of the donkey did. Oh, so you're saying... If the Lord asks me to give him my aeroplane mm -hmm. because he needs it, yes. then I can trust the Lord and let him have my aeroplane uh, to serve the Lord. That's right. And? And the Bible says that the Lord asks us all to give our offerings, so I can trust the Lord and give him my money offerings. That's right. And? I can trust the Lord yes. and give him whatever he needs, whatever he asks me, no matter what it is. That's right. You've uh, got it now, Popsy. Oh, yeah. uh, you see, when we make him the Lord of our life, we can trust him with anything and that he will use it to build his kingdom in incredible ways. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh you know, like they say, of course. Oh, I do. <laughs> Let's all do it together. Pinky's out. It's incredible, but true! What the God of wonders can do! So long, children! Keep serving Lord Jesus! Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.